you're climbing in a tailwind or even if you're cruising in a tailwind, you can actually reduce your power if you're in a cruise and take advantage of the tailwind pushing you. But in a climb, uh, same thing. You wouldn't want to keep your power set, but you may want to drop your nose and climb at a higher airspeed to stay longer and reduce your rate of climb, but you know, maximize your, not maximize, but idealize, optimize your, your uh, true airspeed in order to take advantage of the wind that's blowing behind you. And then if it's a headwind, you do this different, right? You may climb faster through at a lower airspeed. So you can imagine knowing that at every altitude you have a specific altitude, I mean a specific pitch or airspeed that you're gonna hold. Um, and, and let's say your, your headwind is higher a little bit above you. Maybe you would, uh, and you have a headwind that's lower at the altitude you're in, maybe you'd stay there longer. So it's just math. And there's a bunch of equations and there, it's a long equation that idealizes or optimizes the, uh, the specific range for that particular weight, temperature, and, and, and wind. And we just run it. So the whole concept is 60 minutes from now, how can I be downrange, the furthest downrange with the least amount of fuel to get every mile out of this fuel? So picture a program that you enter the weight, temperature, your starting weight, temperature, and, out, and your winds, and then it will calculate the ideal airspeed all the way up to altitude. And it'll also tell you what altitude you should level off. See, I'm always saying 41. I asked for wrong way 41. Nobody cares be uh, up there, because only a couple times they'll say for traffic, you gotta come down, but generally I can go wrong way 41. But if the wind's better at 40, I'll go to 40. Or if at 39, I may go to 39. If my specific range is higher, than if I were to go uh, at 41. But generally speaking, uh, you wanna go up. Higher the better, 3.2% per 1,000 feet. So let's talk about level off too. Now, if you level off in a flat wing plane too high, you'll never accelerate. If you're at 37, 38,000, 39,000 feet and you level off in a flat wing plane, you may not accelerate. In our planes, of course, you can go straight up and level off, it takes you 15 minutes to get going fast. But you have to understand what the winds are doing and you can, you can set your level of altitude that's ideal for that day. Um, that's just something to think about that you don't wanna be stuck in a flat wing plane without being able to accelerate. So overall, a lot, some of these things you guys already know, it's very, uh, it's, a, it's a kind of a reminder on some of the topics. Now climb specific range, not many people talk about, but more and more, it's cool because our customers are seeing how neat this, this, um, this experience is with the winglets and they, and they call and say, now I want to go to the next level. I want to go to the next level. What's the next level? Okay, let's talk about climbing in specific range. So um, just look for more of this type of thing in the next couple, coming months. And just a continual process of learning, staying as a student. And I'm still learning. I know a lot of these things, but I'm still learning every time I fly. Thanks guys for your time and remember, Tamarack winglets, active winglets take you further.